Okay, now we're out in the wild, if you could call it that. And yeah, it's a little rainy, so I might not fly it. But I just want to show you how to connect the drone itself, the quadcopter. You press this, like this, up. Yeah, now that one is on. And you see here the battery for the transmitter you can see here it's only one bar that vanished and here you have the GPS for the, the TX and now we go to the quad I recommend you don't pull anything inside you just do like this you see it starts flashing and the it says gyro, check gyro sense it's flashing yellow and now we go around and when you see the flash going like this it tells that you have to you do the calibration compass one and you do this by doing like this one Two, three, and now you see it's getting green. Now you do like this one, two, three, and now it's done. Uh, now I'm doing it. Uh, don't do this like I do at the moment. I shall go somewhere else to do a new compass calibration. But uh, as we can see, it says zero zero, and in a sense, the flat surface would be the horizontal. The IMU should be okay. But I do recommend that you actually do uh, the IMU anyway. You press the, the to the right and do like this. And then it flashes yellow. And now the IMU, it's okay. So uh, this is how you connect to the quad. And now you can see up here, you see the battery for the quad itself. Uh, it says 8.1 volts. I think when it gets down to 6.4 volts, it goes into fail safe mode and it starts to land. Uh, roll, zero, pitch, zero. Um, I actually don't know what H67 is, to be honest. Uh, not really sure about that. I think here we at least have uh, how fast it goes. The first one is meters per second and uh, the height and the, the range and the purple here is the the GPS on the quad and this is the GPS for the altitude hold to arm the quad you do like this and to disarm you do the same Remember though that the transmitter is always in expert mode as default and if you pull down as I did before and press you get into the sens set sensitivity going like this and change to normal mode and go back and out you get this problem. It, the Hobson actually warned for this in the manual, which is good, but you, it could be a problem to start it. So, uh, to start it, I, I, you really have to find the right, exactly the right spot. And that's the problem. And the same thing to shut it down. You really have to find the exact spot to shut it down. So uh, beware, you know, if you know this, I don't think you should have any problems. 
maybe it could be but you have to do something about it because if you press this one to the right more maybe it gets a little easier and when it comes to this one you do this more to the left maybe I don't I, I haven't tried that out but maybe that would fix that issue a little because Hobson says if it goes below 60% you can't shut the motors and the engines down so when you shut when you have flown finished you do like this you uh, disconnect the quad first and then you disconnect the transceiver so now it's actually starting to rain quite a bit so I'm going to stop for a while okay I shall now show you if you don't doesn't trust your compass calibration you can always do the calibration again by pulling the throttle stick to the left and do like this and now I can calibrate the compass again and I do like this and now I should show you the third calibration method and to be honest I'm not really sure how if I do it right but according to the manual you should do the third calibration if the quad kind of jaw strange at some sort of direction then you pull the throttle stick up and then you pull this stick up and down until the light flashes yellow like that and when the lights are down and you see it moving red like this you start to you see the lead second lead third lead and right lead and now it's starting to get yellow again and when it started to do the red lead thing again you should do it the other way around and according to the manual it should be done but you see here it go on and go on so now it starts to do the red and it shows that it should do this ray and now it should be done but I, I think I have to do like this instead so that's the calibration methods but the last one I'm not sure if it actually really works but uh, I shall uh, give it a try I connect it again just show you a little something I'm starting the quad again it says now I'm in manual mode in altitude hold a compass calibration again one and now we want to do And now I'm done. So that's how it's done. But be careful, I'm sitting actually on the right, on the wrong spot to do these calibrations. So I'm going to move now and try to fly a little. As I said before, I will do a horizontal. Calibration okay. first. I'm trying to having 12 satellites and 8 satellites on the GPS. Let's see how it works. I'm not flying in altitude hold because I really don't trust the altitude hold.
Let's see how it works. Um, let's see. I'm flying out to. Now let's see here if it's stable or not. And you see it's a stable hover. Let's see if it dares to do a follow me. I'm not really sure if it works. It has been funny working before. I'm here. It's starting to follow me. It's jaw kind of strange to the left, and that's kind of weird. But it, it do actually work at this time. I'm going forward to it. If I go this way, as you can see, it only goes. You can't do any I don't think you could Ah, you could do it Oh, that was kind of strange I think I sh shut it off Left Left works right forward back. I should see if I can try the headless mode. If it works, it should go at the right way. Starts to Seems to work. I shut it off. Lots of cars, and you can already see that. This battery for the quad is going down really, really fast. It's already on 7.5 volts, and I haven't really done that much of anything. I don't have any, what should I say, any SD card in this before because in Sweden it's not really yet allowed to use to show flight footage without um, giving consent from the state but it's okay to film f for your own thing for your own sake so uh, I can show you a little here how it looks and so because this is legal, this is legal. I can do like this because you can't. Uh, now it's kind of getting funny reception here. It's because I'm kind of low. Okay, 
let's get up a little It's actually too many trees here I'm going up a little I'll try to return to home a little It's kind of scary But I'm prepared to shut it down right away it Seems to work I don't see any toilet bowl effect So far Seems to go down For once it actually works like promised Without that tiny little glitch in the follow me And I disarm It's really good if the GPS is on It tells you on the screen that it's on I think it's something I have to get into Maybe that one is better So I will not show the manual mode and I will not show the attitude hold mode uh, though the manual mode should be more secure than the altitude hold the, the only reason why I'm not using the manual mode is because if you go you have to remember to always push this throttle down because if you land and forgets that and it goes up like this the quadcopter would rise up in the, into the sky again so um yeah, for once this quad did actually perform quite okay I tried to get it up one more time I'm a little scared about it, to be honest I'm flying out on the field here on 31 meters height the field's okay to film I don't have to get yeah you know appliance now I, it dropped out of I think I have a tree in the way I think there it is so it actually do have it quite good but I don't think why it's working this funny I do take it home make a return to home again trying to see if it works better Seems to work fine this time also I can't see any toilet bowl effect I'm getting down Actually, it, very precise this time But the camera is actually shown in another way <laughs> I'm not that very precise this time Not the very best landing this time But It's almost uh, A meter or two away 
I did have to check if the motors are okay. It seems to work okay. So there you have it. Today it actually works quite fine and um, no real troubles with it. Uh, it does have a strange twitch in in the follow me mode. Remember though the follow me mode works kind of strange on this one. Sometimes it works. In a sense I think it would have, would have been better if he couldn't use the jaw during the follow me. So if I'm going from right to left, it instead of doing going to the side, it follows with the camera like this. Uh, it flies smooth in GPS hold. Um, it's really smooth in GPS hold. But kind of dangerous in altitude hold. Manu manual mode, I'm really not sure, but people who have flown it in manual mode says it's okay. Uh, the return to home did function this time, but I do tell again if you do a calibration of the compass, always do the horizontal IMU calibration as well. To be sure that you doesn't get the toilet bow effect in the return to home. If if this quad worth the money, yes. If you buy it from China or uh, store there from there or something like that, but it's not worth the money if you buy it in Sweden. Three thousand seven hundred sec is a lot of money, and uh, it's not. I mean, no stabilized camera, though the camera picture is really, really good. And, uh, yeah. It's a good quad, but it also have, have really, really dangerous issues that you should be aware of. So, if, is this a, a beginner's quad? No, I don't think so. It probably it's an intermediate drone uh, for people who have flown for a while that know how to do to um, be secure from these issues. So um, if you get uh, whack, follow me, deactivate the follow me function. If you get the whacked headless mode, deactivate the headless mode. If you get the TOD, the tumble of death, get it in GPS hold and do throttle up. And it should be able to regain its flight control, control the game. Uh, if it goes up in the straight skyrocket in there, you p put it into return to home. And if everything is okay, it should go home. So um, that's for now. See you another time and I hope I have a new quad right away. This one I actually think I will return, maybe. I'm not really, 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 I'm not happy. But mostly because of the price and mostly because of the software glitches. So, um, till next time, see ya.